warmed his hands over the flames. Uh, let's see, what else? Threw his He's water bottle into the grandstand. Now, He's still not done, but threw his water bottle into the stands. It took him approximately eight throws to clear the fence with that. And finally, and at last, he refires the car, uh, which has no rear tires intact anymore, and methodically begins to make his way to Victory Lane. Now, Dale Jr. is waiting for him in Gatorade Victory Lane, and what I like about the NASCAR fans, they have left. They have stayed here to watch this celebration, and Winston Kelly, I have a feeling this celebration is going to go on for a while. What do you think? Absolutely, is it? It is Dale Earnhardt Jr., one of the owners of the team, and Dale, you've taken a lot of guys to Victory Lane here at Daytona to the first win. Your thoughts as Noah gets his first win and here at Daytona. It's great for Noah. He's worked really hard to get himself in this situation, and. Just happy for him and this whole team. They work. They work hard. We got great company. A lot of great people working there. It's great to be successful. Back to back wins here at Daytona. What is it about this place with the Earnhardts and Daytona? I don't know. You know, we, we really put a lot of emphasis on our plate program. Uh, always did as a driver. Tony Senior, Tony Junior, all those guys showed me the importance of emphasis of preparing your car and, and you know checking everything on the list that you can do. All the tedious little things all add up to make a fast race car. So um, we still we still put that effort into our car today. Congratulations to Joy and uh, that's Dale Earnhardt Jr. We'll talk to the driver. No